Yeah. What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy Q Rock, 808 Kicks in the building. Today, we're going to look at a shoe that I was excited about initially. <clears throat> I wasn't too sure about it, but I really wanted to see it in hand to make sure that I wanted it. And like I say, I was excited initially, but I'm not because Nike took a whole two weeks to send this shoe. I was supposed to get it one day, got delayed again. From the initial delay, we know with the COVID stuff, Nike been giving, well, everybody been giving warnings on shipping. Um, it's gonna be delayed this long and that long, which is cool, I understand that. We've been dealing with that all year. So um, I wouldn't, surprised about that at all but it got delayed again from that initial delay from nike then ups come with their delays they got delayed three times and it took a whole two weeks two weeks to the day that i ordered it for me to get it and i've been waiting on it i didn't caught two other shoes before i got this one so it's it's um at this point I just I, I'm, I'm ready to see it. I don't know if I'm gonna keep it or not. Um, let's get to it. Cause this thing, to be honest with you, might be going to the um, Nike store to get returned. Like I always say, if y'all been keeping up with what's going on. Yeah, I know this, this ain't no regular Nike box, obviously, but it's got to just do a tape on it. Still got my shipping information on there, which is part of the issue with for me with this shoe is the fact that they decided to go with this type of packaging. I understand why they did it. It um, goes along with the theme of the shoe. However, it kind of devalues the packaging itself um, it's the space hippies space hippie 04 to be exact and the inside of the box is real cool I'm wondering right now if there's a way to reverse the box to have the branding, all this um, space hippie stuff on the outside, which would be cool if I decide to keep it. I might look into that. It looks like, um, nah, I don't think this box is reversible, which is kind of disappointing. Trash transformed. And this colorway, I said Space Hippie 04, in the original colorway, the first colorway of it, they're they bringing out um, different colorways now. This shoe, first of all, is super light, super duper light. It's made from, um, if I remember correctly, recycled junk pretty much scraps from other shoes that they fuse together to make uh, the midsole in particular but i guess you could call it outsole like it's one piece well maybe this piece right here and this little piece right here in the front looked like um it was glued on but there's really no midsole to speak of on this shoe. This whole thing right here is just one solid piece. There's no, as y'all can see, there's no paper in the box. No paper on the inside of the shoe. We got the, the Nike Sunburst logo on the insole. And it's, it's I'm gonna tell y'all my honest opinion on this. 
it, it to me is like a Nike Yeezy. I I don't like Adidas. Um, the only Adidas I really like are the Forums and the Superstars, which everybody knows as shell toes. This shoe to me looks like a Yeezy, a Nike Nike's version of the Yeezy 350 V2. I like it, but it's kind of weird. And this is um, this colorway was a women's, so I had to get the only thing that was available to me when I made the purchase was a women's 13, which is an 11 and a half. I got a few 11 and a halves in my collection, so I'm pretty sure I won't have a problem with the fit, especially with this mesh material. It's kind of stretchy. Um, I'm gonna try it on definitely, but I don't know. I already know my wife don't like it. When I showed her the pictures, she she wondered why I even ordered it in the first place. She you know I don't usually go for stuff like this. This knit build, um, really no overlays. I guess you can call. Well, you can kind of call this side an overlay, but it's really a wrap. Like, if you look at this, this little part right here, and you can see a seam right here on the medial side, but it's wrapped and stitched together. It's, it's like they started from here on the front lateral side. They started from here and glued it in came back around here it's got one stitch line right here and they probably reverse stitched it on the inside here to get this top seam um everything no I, not everything it's supposed to be 25 percent recycled material which is uh that's dope i mean i i don't i'm not mad at nike at all for that y'all can see that swoosh the orange swoosh on the side I'm not mad at the colorway. I'm not mad at the construction. I'm not mad at the idea. It's a little um, a little soft for my taste. Small orange swoosh on the inside. Ain't really too much to say about this. The, the swoosh on the back of the heel. The Nike 04 tag right there for the Space hit before 04. And um I don't know. I just I don't know about this one. I'm gonna take it downstairs and let my wife see it. Her opinion will weigh pretty heavily on me when it comes to this shoe. I mean the traction the traction pattern looks real good. I like that. That's dope. But from the side view it looks real chunky real clunky like this is it's so thick this this outsole midsole combination just soul soul <laughs> it's it's so thick and this it's pretty it's, it's pretty mushy look like it'll probably feel good i don't know um ain't no air in this thing i know that Ain't that much technology to speak of. It's just, it's really a gimmick shoe, in my opinion. Not a bad gimmick, but a gimmick nevertheless. So, we gonna see, man. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put it on foot. Let my wife check it out. See how she feel about it. I might hold on to it for maybe a few more days. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put it out where I can see it. Make sure every time I come in my studio, I can see it. And um, maybe it'll grow on me. Maybe not. Maybe I'll keep it, maybe I won't. It is what it is. Space yarn, recycled materials. It says 25% recycled materials on this. So um, there are some other colorways coming. 
there was this one and um one other one i didn't i can't remember the numbers exactly i'll throw them up on the screen i think it was the o2 that i also liked that i tried for but it sold out um in the original colorway the gray and orange I'm, i probably won't be going for um the the other colorway maybe they bring out a black colorway or something like that i might try for it uh, just to see how it is in comparison with this one. I'm happy they finally came. I'm happy I'm getting to look at them and let y'all see them. For those of y'all that haven't looked into them, it's a dope concept. We're going to see how it look on feet. And we're um, going to make some determinations whether or not I'm going to keep this or whether I'm going to let somebody that wants it um, end up picking it up at Nike. So... That's it, Space Hippie 04. Y'all drop a like, um, leave a comment. Do y'all like this shoe? Y'all think I should keep it? Um, it retail for 130. Is it worth it to you? Would you have bought this? Do you like the other colorways? How you feel about Nike doing the, the whole recyclable thing, the box and everything? Um, hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications so y'all can stay with me every time i come with a new video y'all know and uh, i'm gonna get with y'all on the next one peace